You can control your sensor setup by clicking on Menu, Settings, Sensor Setup. Let's go through each element of this page. Cell count alerting. You can control your SCC alert threshold by selecting one of these three selections. Historic cell count alerting. By ticking this box, you will be alerted to an animal that's had a high cell count in the previous milking. Sensor wash routine delay. The wash routine delay allows you to put the SCC sensors into wash after a specified time delay. This is useful when your wash system has a delay before water comes through to the milking plant. Simply use the steppers to change the amount of time in the delay. Measure and display milk production using Choose between yield and milk solids. This will change the way the production is shown on different reports. Calibrate milk sensors. Click here and have your latest tanker docket ready. Enter the values here and then always remember to save your calibration. I'm going to click cancel because I didn't enter any values. Yield dip alert. If you check this box, you'll be alerted to an animal that's had a significant yield dip from its last 14 day average. Conductivity alert. Click this box. I recommend you set the sensitivity to the middle to start with and if you're getting too many alerts you can always move the sensitivity back to fewer alerts. Metabolic disorder alert. Click here and you'll be alerted to animals with fat protein ratios that were out of bounds compared to their 5 day average. Once you've made these changes to this page always remember to click save.